Hi, my name is Chip Ingram. I'd like to talk to you about something that some of you are absolutely fired up about and a lot of you could absolutely care less about. It's politics. But I want to talk about it maybe a little bit differently. What does the Bible say about politics? I mean, what's the truth about politics? I mean, a lot of us are turned off because there's red and blue and people scream and we seem deadlocked and things don't happen very well. And pretty much it's like, you know what, I don't know what those crazy people are going to do, but I'm opting out. Uh, I was on a number of college campuses uh, in the last year, and as I talked to a lot of students, it was like, you know something, that whole thing's just messed up. It's just so broken. I don't even vote. I don't even think about that stuff. I think they're all crooks. I, I mean jaded, really jaded. And to be honest, you know, I had to say, you know, I can't disagree in a lot of ways, but how will the world change? You know, what does the Bible actually say? What's the truth about politics? Because, you know, politicians have taken those in the left and they've sort of captured them and politicians have taken those on the right and they've taken Christian people on the right and Christian people on the left and then pretty soon the flag that flies over a lot of churches is not Jesus or salvation or scripture or loving or forgiveness or the things that we hold most dear. It's these issues that the left holds or these issues that the right holds. And so pretty soon politics just becomes something that drowns out the very life of Christ. I'd encourage you to think with me biblically because the Bible is very clear that there is an individual responsibility of a believer and there's an individual responsibility of a church or corporate group and they're very different. In other words, there are two kingdoms in conflict. And I, there's a spiritual kingdom and there's a political or worldly kingdom. I as an individual believer have a responsibility to both. Do you know what those are? Well, that's what we talk about in the church in politics. We can make a difference, but we gotta start thinking. We gotta research, we gotta ask ourselves, what does the Bible say? What does God want me to do? And not just be passive because we're turned off or think that the world is going to change through some political system. Because the left has had complete control of the White House and both houses, the Senate and Congress. The right has had complete control. Each group has had that in the last 40 or 50 years. Now let me ask you, where are we at? Maybe it's time Christians step up and find out what God says and we lead the cause, but not the world's way, God's way. Let's make a difference together.